ranch, ground beef, butter, bacon, cheese, sour cream, heavy whipping cream. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to lose weight eating all this food. I'm trying to vlog, he's talking about the battery. Batteries are important, all right? We run on batteries, because... What are you, the Energizer Bunny? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, we about to pull up at Wegmans. Pretty cool place. Yo, it's got this, like, clock tower. If you guys aren't hip to Wegmans, they all got, like, uh, this clock tower. Look, 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 look at that! Look at that! I, bro, I we, can't even show you, but look at that! Oh, we, live in London. we live in London, bro. What time it is? Damn, yo. <laughs> My bad. I ain't, my, you said fuck you. I don't my, want you to be in the bad, frame like bad. shit. I, I, no, come on. Watch your language. I'm sorry. I just, <laughs> I just I, this this is just how I express myself. You have to understand, like me cussing is just like I just try to make sense of things. You know, I just. Anywho, this is not South Park. This is a fitness. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Damn, bro. Yeah, it's I'm the going crazy out here, bro. <laughs> I haven't that? even had pre-workout. I'm going crazy. <laughs> Let's talk about food. Cause that's what we're about to pick up. Uh, Matt's on his ketogenic diet, and pretty much like the only thing you eat on keto, I was pre workout. I was. I really don't care if you're finished or not. You just 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 gonna cut me off like that. Yeah. Anyways, like I was saying before this, I was about to cuss, but I didn't, cause you know he's gonna scream that stop shit. But um, we're they, about to go. They say what I say, bro. I say watch your watch language. your language. Um, but watch but your I, mouth out with a bar of soap. Oh, you right. The beat right. just dropped. The beat just dropped. The beat just dropped. So we are at Wegmans right now, picking picking up some grocery stuff for Matt. Um, yes, yeah, for his diet, man. Like a lot of people have questions about it. I have questions about it. I don't even know how that shit works. I just know you can't eat any type of carbs, and it's all fat. So you know, all fat, guys. all fat. All fat. Everyone, With the pee. How do you, how With do you... the pee, because that's no, no, bro. You eat fat. To get fat, but I eat ass too. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> grocery shopping time. You Anybody it. want that booty eight? Just damn, your battery's about to die. I too. have another one. Okay, I got. Stop you. talking about the battery. All right, bro, DJ Khaled, another one. You got it, bro. Roid rage in this. Oh gosh. Uh, first thing with the keto, I always get is my spinach. It's important. Get your greens in. Uh, it's like no calories, it fills you up to get your fiber from it, especially on keto, you're low on fibers, you need fiber, so just grab every bag of spinach from the store. We'll come back to the rest later. When you're on keto, this is the wall. Pork, beef, chicken, sausage, everything. All that good stuff. Who doesn't like bacon? I don't care if you're vegetarian, you like bacon. Um, this is great for keto. You guys gotta watch out. Make sure there's no added um, sugars because there'll always be under carbs. You'll have added sugars. You don't want that. A lot of bacon has added sugars if it'll focus. There we go. There we go. A lot of bacon will have extra sugars. Um, I just get this stuff. It's what I like. Um, good fat, good protein. That's what you need for keto. Pump beef, 80 20. A lot of times when people are cutting, they want to get that 90 10. One is more expensive. Two, you're on keto, so you want more fats. So. Get me up in there, baby. Alright, <laughs> uh, look, I got a phone call. Another damn trade. Treat the apartment trace bigger than that. Okay. <laughs> the worst thing about keto and working at Wegmans is I gotta walk by this every single day. Cake, cake, cake. Cake. I mean, we some. Cake. I love cake, you know. Love eating cake. Love that cake. Love that cake. Alright. The egg section. Love this place. Uh, Definitely for keto, get eggs. It's a great source of protein, great source of fat. If you don't like eggs, um, I don't really care. You're gonna eat them if you're on keto. So you guys don't see me eat this at home. Cottage cheese, it's great. Uh, I eat it every day for lunch when I'm at work, so that's why I don't take it home. Um, it's really high in protein, so you don't want to have too much of it, but I think it tastes great. You still get some fats in if you get the right one. Uh, don't get like the 1%. Uh, you want to get like the 4% that has more fat. Oh, I, just, I just get excited when I look at that cream cheese, guys. It's so creamy and so cheesy. But, uh, so one of my favorite things to do is make cream spinach. Um, super easy snack. Uh, it's 
And when you're on keto, it's healthy for you. I mean, it's healthy in general, but better when you're on keto. Just, I'll show you how to make it later. I'm not gonna go over that right now, but it's bomb. Guys, I'm about to tell you about the most amazing food you've ever heard about. Like, it is absolutely amazing. You eat this, you will lose weight, you will gain weight, whatever you wanna do, you just tell it, okay? This food is absolutely crucial to any diet. You probably already know what it is. Sour cream, oh, oh, I messed that up. This all good, this sour cream. You know we were getting sour cream. It's crucial, it's gains, it's cuts, it's everything. This is one of my favorite aisles, guys. The nut aisle. <laughs> uh, when you're on keto. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just had to pause real quick. Nah, come on. What? Bro. You eat ass, bro. You, I do. I do. I'll show you my ass, bro. <laughs> 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 All right, the nut aisle. Zeb's favorite aisle. <laughs> anyway, so nuts are perfect for on keto. Uh, it's a quick, easy snack that you can take anywhere. It doesn't have to be refrigerated or anything. These are macadamia nuts. Uh, shout out to keto. Uh, doop, doop, keto. Shout out to Goody Beats. He hit me to these. Uh, 21 grams of fat per serving, guys. That's crazy. Um, focus. Yeah, it's not gonna focus. Not even worried. It's just it. like me. It's. I can't focus when I see some. <laughs> right, anyways. It's 21 grams of pro, uh, fat. Yo, you got me messed up, bro. It's 21 grams of fat and um, two grams of protein. So if you're too high on your proteins for the day, you can just knock some of these down. Um, and again, guys, those uh, foods that are high in fats, they keep you satiated, they keep you full, um, they're great to have, but you know, having a snack when you're on a road trip or something, bring these, these are crucial, crucial. Not like sour cream, but they are crucial. True. Are we done with nuts? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Always. Right, so, um, also like different types of butters are perfect. They're great for you. They got um, fats, proteins. You could do almond butter, peanut butter, cashew, you know, they got everything. Personally, I like peanut butter. Just be careful, because I always tell people I'm eating two tablespoons, but I end up eating like seven, because they taste good as hell. Um, That's a lot of peanut butter. I didn't ask for your commentary, bro. I'm just saying. Oh, you're right, you're right. <laughs> I, I appreciate you. I really electrolytes. So electrolytes, you magnesium, yep. potassium, those are your electrolytes. You need to make sure you get them because you're super low in them. Uh, a lot of people drink like chicken broth and stuff. I don't really do that. Um, you can do like Powerade Zero. I love that. Um, but yeah, make sure you get everything salted. Put salt on everything because everyone likes to do it anyway. So might as well do it when it's good for you. Another crucial part of the diet, cauliflower rice. Also, guys, when you're shopping, make sure you go to the back so you can get that use-by date. See, this is 10-29, 10-27. Oh, you gotta have a couple days to cook it. But anyway, I hate cauliflower. It tastes nat. I hate cauliflower. It tastes terrible. But cauliflower rice is great because whatever you do to cauliflower, however you season it, is how it tastes. So, yeah. I found Narnia. Where? Where? <laughs> Um, Halo Top ice cream, guys. It's not necessarily like keto friendly, but I mean, if you look at it, it's probably not going to show. But 15 grams of carbs. Um, I'm going to teach you guys what net carbs are later, but pretty much your sugars you take fiber out of the carbs that will give you your net carbs. But it's really 7 grams of sugars, and that's not bad for a half a container. Um, you don't want to have it every single day, but if you're craving something, it's much better to have this than to go have actual ice cream. Um, it has sugar alcohols in it, which are better than sugars when you're on keto. So, yeah. Oh, so you're not going to give me one? No, I'm not. It's Narnia. Leave Narnia at Narnia. I'm not take anything back from Narnia. <laughs> Here is my keto diet board. It says all the stuff that you need to know as a beginner and... Even if you already started keto and there's a couple things you need help with, this will kind of tell you everything. I don't want to go too in-depth because I don't want this to be too long, but I'm going to kind of explain everything here. So the ketogenic diet, or also keto for short, is a high-fat, moderate-protein, low-carb diet. So you do 75% of your macros goes to fat, 20% goes to protein, 5% goes to carbs. Carbs on most keto diets, usually people try and keep it under 25 grams per day. All right, so how to start. 
Uh, it's simple. You just drop your carbs down and you increase your fats. Um, it, ca it can be beneficial for people to kind of ease their way into this. So kind of slowly drop your carbs day by day until you get down to that 25 grams per uh, day limit. Uh, just might make the transition easier, help your body transition. Um, so why is it called a ketogenic diet? This isn't actual definition, but ketosis, a metabolic state where the body burns fat or ketones as energy due to lack of carbs. Uh, guys, our main energy source for our body is carbohydrates. When we eat carbohydrates, our body turns them into glucose, which we use for energy. But if we do not use all of the carbohydrates that we consume, it can be turned to glycogen, and that's when it can be stored as fat. So a lot of people are like, how can you eat fat and lose weight? It doesn't make sense. You know, I was always told never to, not to eat a lot of fats and stuff like that. Pretty much what happens is you're teaching your body to use fat as an energy source. So when you don't have any energy due to not having food or just because you've burned all the energy from the food that you've eaten, you start burning into your body fat. So your body knows how to pretty much melt body fat off. Um, so that's how it works. So here's some uh, um, things that you should know, especially for eating healthy fats. Um, oils, nuts, grass-fed butters, fat from meats, cheese, avocado, fish. These are like key eggs. Oh my goodness, I forgot eggs. That's crazy. Wow. Um, eggs are huge. But all these guys, um, these ones right here, and there's, there's more. Obviously, there's more healthy fats, but these are huge. Um, try to get, you know... A good amount of these in a day. Obviously, you can have ranch dressing, and you can have mayonnaise, and you can have hot dogs. But like, you kind of want to stay away from those more unhealthy fats as much as possible. Here are my keto no no nos. You don't wanna don't wanna do these. No sugar, no carbs, um, and just be careful because a lot of foods contain hidden carbs. Uh, bacon, maple bacon, stuff like that. You wanna stay away from that because it will kick you right out of your um, your diet. And just like I said over here, when shopping for keto-friendly food, always read nutrition labels. Always read nutrition labels. Also, with nutrition labels, for keto, you have to learn how to calculate net carbs. I'll just go over that real quick. So, net carbs equals carbs minus fiber. Um, this is an example. It's not the actual macros for almonds. But, for example, if it were 7 grams of protein, um, 16 grams of carbs, 12 grams of fiber, and 21 grams of fat, you would subtract the fiber from the carbs, and it'll be four grams of net carbs. So you would only count that as four grams towards your 25 grams, and it would be written just like this, as like a subcategory underneath carbs. And if there's sugars, it'll say sugars under there. It would be right under here. Um, so that's how you can make sure you're not having too much sugars. Um, last thing I want to talk about is the keto flu. A lot of people um, experience the keto flu when they're starting off keto because your body's going through withdrawal. You're used to having carbs as your main source of energy, and now you're taking that away from your body and you're not letting it have that. Um, you can get headaches, stomach aches, stuff like that. Easy way to prevent it, guys, is just have a high water intake. Of course, you want that anyway. It helps fat loss. It helps flush your system. It's so many benefits to it. Um, meet your daily fiber needs. It's hard to get fiber, and it's hard to get electrolytes while you're doing keto. So, Salt your foods, make sure you're getting your green vegetables in for your fiber, and eat enough fat, guys. I can't stress that enough. You're going to eat a lot of fat on keto. Do not be afraid of fat. It's You're going to feel great about it. All right, guys, that's going to be the end of this vlog. Hopefully, you learned a little bit about the ketogenic diet, especially if you had any questions. If you have any further questions, just let me know in the comments below, or you can hit me up on my Instagram. Um, so, yeah, just want to let you guys know Bryce is super excited about the ketogenic diet um he added his own little notes in there for you guys so yeah until next time guys thanks for watching